Today we're going to do a comparison of the Hacker RF1 and the Blade RFXA5 at family service radio frequencies. That's about 462 megahertz. And I, I drove a three mile loop and I tried transmitting it at various locations to uh, see what the comparison was. And so um, let's get started. The first location was about a half a mile away. And uh, so here's the, uh, and it was at four and a half minutes. So here's the uh, Blade RF at that time. Okay. And so that was that was pretty nice and strong. And then we'll try the Hacker RF at the same time, rewinding this IQ file. And so you could hear that quite well. It was a little bit weaker than the uh, blade reception. And... Uh, We'll go to the next location, which is about a mile away down in the canyon. And uh, so let's go back to the uh, Blade RF. And that was pretty reasonable. And so now let's try the Hacker RF at the same location. And you could hear it pretty reasonable, but it was quite a bit weaker than the, uh, the Blade RF. And so here's the next location, which is about three quarters of a mile away over the ridge. And... Um, so here's the, the uh, Blade RF. And that was pretty reasonable. And so let's go over here and try the Hacker RF at that location. And you could hear the hacker RF, but it was it was quite a bit weaker. And so now let's let's go to the last location, which is just over the just over the ridge. But uh, I'm close to the ridge, so it has trouble getting uh, getting over the hill. All right. So here's the blade RF. And you could hear it, but it was it was a little bit weak. And so let's go to the uh, Hacker RF. And the Hacker RF, you could just just barely hear it. It was very very weak. And so. In, in the comparison between the Hacker RF1 and the Blade XA5, the Blade XA5 just lays the Hacker RF to waste. It's tremendously better.